Today it's a kind of a project overview. We will not start from scratch because it would take quite a long time to recreate this this intro. Uh, but I think it can be interesting for you anyway because we will have a look at uh, 3DS Studio Max, uh, Buju, and After Effects, of course. Now the second part needs to be linked to the first one. And the main part is done. So we have our mechanism. And now it's easy. Just go to Animation, IK Solvers, High Solvers, and select the ball. And that's it. We have our rig. And you see it calculates the image and uh, goes on. Now I will pause the video. Now it, now it is done. So you can see the shot is tracked. And now I need just to solve the camera. So hit the camera solve. All frames hit start and it makes its work and in a minute you can see the final result and you take several exposures of this of the of the ball and the ball reflects your your location and it includes all the information about light the light and about the dark places stuff like that and you can use this for high dynamic range uh, image which can illuminate your scene as well okay and when when we are when we have animation like this with the camera in scene and everything is uh, perfect so we can export this animation I exported three passes or four passes actually when the diffuse one some ambient occlusion one seen la lit by the skylight and the fourth one was depth pass it looks like this the second one is ambient occlusion pass uh, which uh, uh, which tr transfer mode is set to multiply and the, th the third one is skylight set to classic color burn and it looks like this so noise applied on it with an evolution expression so I just write time times 100 and it makes this evolution so it is it is changing in time automatically I put this precomposition in here change the scale so the X is stretched as you can see 38% so it's not a circle but just some ellipse and some uh, effects were added to this this layer and you can see this precomposition is of course two dimensional only it's completely flat but we can uh, turn this button on and when I do it, it takes the information from this precomp about the 3D space. And now I have 3D effect in here. <laughs> 